Hi everyone, welcome Pisces to the Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light Love and Healing Tarot. How are you? Hope you had a great weekend and you enjoyed your Valentine's. <laughs> anyway, today, oh anyway, thank you for being here and if you're returning, thank you for subscribing and helping me build my channel and those of you who, have, who are new here, have just arrived, please like, subscribe, share, like, subscribe, subscribe, share and comment, help me build my channel and hope you enjoy our readings every week that we do our angel messages with a different focus and we do love readings as well every 12 days so anyway today's focus as I meditated prior to this video is about the future self that's what the the reading is going to be about and the card that um, came out was the I am presence Archangel Michael is over the I am presence and know that it's the higher self the higher self is you come in with a higher self your higher self dwells in the higher dimensions higher consciousness and the question is, how are you connecting with your higher self to get the answers you seek? And what knowledge are you trying to access if you are stilling your mind? Okay, what can you access um, stilling your mind in meditation? And what about the forces that are coming into your life? Are you understanding them? You know, the energies that are coming back to you. So hopefully this reading will definitely clear some of that information. Who knows what will come from it. It might help you and it might resonate with you totally and it may not. But stay with me. There are things here that I know that um, will help everybody. So know that every day is a lesson. Every moment is a lesson. So here we go. So let's begin with um, the Starseed uh, Oracle. It will give us some information on where you are. Uh, what's going on in your energetic life, <laughs> your process, your path, right? Uh, because that's what it's all about. So here we go. Let's see. We're Pisces. What is going on in the present? If you don't know, it will come, it will present itself here in the heart of the matter or the challenges that we meet, that you will meet or have already met. <laughs> and any outcomes or possibilities, as I always say, because energy is timeless and tarot is not about fortune telling. No, because energy changes constantly. So here we go. <laughs> and if you haven't found out who your angel who your angels are, their names, meditate on them. You come in with two, one on each self shoulder. So here we go. For Pisces, what's present? Oh. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> it says wait. Okay, be patient. It's not yet time. Things are being woven. My goodness, that's the second time in a row in exactly the same place. This is wild. Oh, doors are opening. You decide rewards. This is a wild card portal. You're opening portals, Pisces. And a portal um, is when you're constantly praying or in meditation and you're guiding your thoughts to a higher um, uh, source, okay? It creates like a direct line, a, like a, a tube of light almost, where you are in connection and you open a portal just by constantly having your focus and your intention on praying or, or meditating, okay? So you have opened a portal and doors are opening for you, Pisces. So this is such a beautiful card. Stay there and wait for the answers, okay? Wait for the answers. Okay, so here's the Welka, <laughs> the Welka. <laughs> the whale and orca elders it says share your song frequency of sound diving deep so you might be musical Pisces um, and the whale and the orca elders you know if you've, if you've ever had whale music um, you listen to whales and you know they're very spiritual uh, creatures and uh, they do definitely have this frequency that um, heals the ocean floors you know that's what they're about so it says diving deep now this could mean many things to you it could be something to share your song your frequency maybe it is you're a musician and you want to share more music or create something and it's saying that the whale and the orca elders are here so you definitely are someone you might even be from an ancient um, you know Atlantis or something you may have been in Atlantis in a previous lifetime and you did work with the um, creatures of, of whales and the you know the the, the spiritual um, ness of whales and and any of the uh, mm, creatures that make the uh, I don't know I think it's it's not just whales I think dolphins as well dolphins also have this wonderful frequency of music that they kind of you can hear them when they're you know if you've ever seen those movies or or you know uh, YouTube's 
where they have uh, sound effects coming from them. And so, I don't know, share your song, whatever that means to you. It's definitely part of your process, music is. So let's see what happens here. Let's see about what's sharing your life. How do you go about sharing this energy? What is it that uh, you are required to know more about this wonderful uh, energy here that's being presented? Okay, so let's see what else is required for you to know, Pisces. Okay, let's see. The inner temple devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. So this is amazing, which you are already doing. So now, as you take this uh, information from the portal that you are connected to, now tune this information into your heart so that it even expands more, okay? Because your heart is the orchestrator of your life, right? So know that devotion and tuning to the portal of your heart now, because that's another portal. This is a portal. Our heart is our portal as well. So you've got two portals here. The major one is here in your heart and the other one which you have connected to. So the next card in the heart here, oh, it says here, trust the nickel. Trust the nickel. Now what that means is what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So something is sending you a message and you are getting a message and so perhaps you haven't moved forward with it. But here is, a, is an answer for you, I think, or some clue about sharing your frequency, whatever that is. It doesn't necessarily have to be music. It could be a writing of a song, not if you're, a, you know, if you're not a musician. It could be something that you want to write, okay, something that you need to write. Oh, <laughs> you are a star seed. <laughs> here you go. Here you go, Pisces. Star seed. What lights you up? <laughs> That's what it says. What lights you up? Okay, so evidently you must know about the light already because it's already there. What lights you up? So evidently, um, creation, you are definitely a creator, artistic musician, it's saying here, you've you're, you're definitely been focusing on the portal that you're connected to and getting this information and now it's saying go to the inner temple, the portal of your heart because that's the big portal, you know, that's the most powerful um, transmission you could have because you know our hearts electromagnetic field is stronger than our brain. It's like a hundred thousand times stronger than our brain. So know that how the heart can, can really heal and, and take us to places that we can never imagine. So here we go now. I'm going to take these other cards and bring it to the present moment into our present future self. What is the future self me required to know more of? So now you know where you are in this beautiful energetic plane. Oh, planet. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. I love this reading. So far, I'm having fun doing this because it's, this is, I, I didn't expect it to come out like this so well. So anyway, here we go. So let's see, where are you in the present, okay, of this wonderful energy that's going on on another level in your higher self, right? This is the higher self. We'll merge with the higher self one day, you know, and, and it, 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 well, we already can. You can in our meditations, you can. But know that um, we are not perfected yeah but soon to be as humans i should say your soul is a a, a wonderful uh, aspect of, of perfection know that it is created perfectly so now where are we going with this in the present it says a new career path will be highly successful if you're thinking of a new career path it says trust the magic of newness so there's a lot going on here, creativity here, I see. Whatever that means, it's a new career path. So this will take you to more of who you are, your future self, your truer self, where you'll be happy. It won't even be work. And it says here, you are going to make mistakes, and it's okay sometimes because you learn by messing up, right? So this is very important for all of us, right? We are going to make mistakes, and it's only through our mistakes that we learn the most from. So keep that in mind as you trust the little push that you're getting to move into this new career or a new path, new study, uh, new creation. Maybe you have more than one job. Maybe you know you have a hobby that's going to turn into something that's going to be very, very helpful to people. And know that here you are a starseed. What lights you up, right? Here we go. Aw, and I love this card. It's okay to be different. Try, don't try so hard to fit in. It's okay to be different. 
all our quirks, honor your quirks, honor your differences. You know, we don't have to be the same as anyone else, so it's okay to be different, and don't try so hard to fit in. So, very nice message here for you, Pisces. So let's go here with some tarot and uh, see uh, where we are in the um, subtle bodies here of our mind, our, our, our emotional body, our mental body. What is it that's challenging us and where we are and what has started this uh, journey for you? Finding your future self and it's really merging with the higher self. That's, that's what our purpose is here. To merge with the higher self and have this beautiful journey of love. <laughs> of oneself. You have to love yourself. Don't forget. Okay, so this is pretty tight right now, but I will just... Very hard sh cards to shuffle. <laughs> but I love the art on the cards, you know. I'm just kind of a... I love big cards, too. So they have a great um, images. Okay, here we go. So now I will pull eight cards, and right now what we're going to do is the bottom card here will be who you are here in this reading. And this bottom one will be the challenge, okay? You can put those away now. And then we'll make our star. Okay, so we have, whoops. What started this reading, what started the, what seeded this reading for you? What's going on in that energy level? Um, where is it in the mind? So it's emotional, mind, what we need to surrender to or surrender, what's in the heart, and what's the outcome or gift. All right, so here we go. So where are you, Pisces, in this? <gasps> the tower. You had a great change of, of a path. A tower moment is like an epiphany. It's a great shift, a change. Things happened. Things were crumbling. You couldn't patch them anymore. I mean, you're such a a very soulful person, you know, very kind and very, very sensitive where you, you thought you had to fix and keep things together. No, the tower moment was telling you it was time for change. So that makes sense. Big changes came into your life um, at the moment, at the right time. And so what is the challenge for you? Ah, okay, the adduct of challenges. So this is to find love. The challenge is not to surrender love, of course, it's to surrender to love in everything that you do. So even in forgiveness, those who've caused you pain, those of, of any type of um, situations where you have that you might regret, no, don't regret them. Be grateful and put love into them and be grateful for the love that you can have uh, to put in them, because that's our quest. If you can get through the hard times with more wisdom and love, then you have accomplished a lot. You will definitely meet your higher self in this lifetime <laughs> every day. You know, you'll have that possibility of, of communing always and getting the downloads and beautiful um, information and answers and knowledge that you seek. So now, what is it that um, is in your emotional body here? The eight of chalices. So you're loving the idea of finding the ninth cup which will bring you your wishes come true. And so, yes, you are. Uh, you may be looking for a career because it's right here with the career, um, you know, finding the magic and the newness of something that will be highly successful. So perhaps this is where you're searching. You're searching for something that might fulfill you even on a spiritual level. So it's just mixing the spiritual and your career together, which is a very, very honorable thing to have. If you can, it will help others, serving others. So let's see here. Now in the mind, you have the Four of Chalices. So the Four of Chalices right here in this part of the reading, um, as far as the Four of Chalices is about feeling, you're contemplating which way to go. Like, I don't, I'm not sure. I've learned from my past. I'm bringing everything into the present. i kind of bored. And again, you know, you may be bored with some work that you're doing. That it feels. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like this whole thing is about how you're going to get your spiritual life into your personal working life to make an income. Or you might have to, what I'm saying here, is you're going to have two things going on at the same time until you're able to move uh, from your physical job that you have into a job, um, whatever that spiritual work that you'll be doing. That's going to be your hobby. So for now, but you're contemplating it, and that's good, because that's what you're supposed to be doing, <laughs> contemplating on moving forward with everything that you're learning. So here we go, let's see, um, what is it that we have to surrender? 
or surrender to, okay? So the Sage of Flames, okay? So this is a powerful um, energy, okay? This is the, uh, this is like the queen of, of, of wands, okay? She's very, very energetic, very um, sociable. She's, she has a great force of drive, ambition. So don't stop, work hard, okay? And, and be part of any team that might be uh, supportive to you as well because she loves to work with people. Um, who are like her, you know, um, this energy is very um, getting your hands dirty, you know, you know, you like to dig deep with others, even if you're in charge, you want to be also on working with the team at the same level, but it also could be an entertainment, because she's a beautiful um, energy of entertainment, social, uh, she's a stage person, you know, there's a lot of things that she does, she could be a musician, singer, actress, uh, or actor, I should say, but it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have anything to do with male or female, but this is the kind of energy, this is very sociable, so don't give that up, because that's part of you, don't give up that part of you um, that is, is, is like natural, you know, a natural uh, person who likes to share their gifts of entertaining or music or art, whatever it is, find a way to, that's the, that, that's the quest, to find how to blend it all together, okay, so here we go. So what is in the heart of this reading is the Ten of Flames. So you've had a lot, a lot of things that have been on your plate, um, Pisces, is definitely ending. All right, a new beginning is coming. And whatever, if anything that you've done in the past that was not correct, don't worry. Those are your lessons, okay? So the Ten of Wands is the end of, hard, of a hard time, and you are beginning to have more uh, blessings in your life right now. So... Let's keep going. And I like that you're moving into something new, something that will bring you more happiness, blend your, your work together. But again, I see, keep your job, keep your day job for now. <laughs> Don't quit it yet. But you are, going, you are searching for something that can bring you uh, both together, or at least uh, until you know what that is. Uh, you can leave your day job. But anyway, here we go. So let's see what's um, the gift of this. Oh, alchemy, a transformation. <laughs> So you definitely are going for a deep, deep transformation here. Wonderful. And what has seeded this? Oh, guidance. You have definitely been on a spiritual path. So the guidance here is, is all about the, uh, this is the Hierophant, you know, in, in regular tarot, the Hierophant. So you have definitely been on a spiritual path, a higher learning. You're definitely learning the things that you've been yearning to do. And so no, just keep following it because you are in the proper way. You are, you, this reading seated guidance. So wonderful. Let's see what your final message is for you, uh, Pisces. And hopefully this has helped you, guide you along your path. And hopefully you are seeing some light in it. And yeah, I see you're very um, interested in doing something different. But take your time. Be patient. Remember the first card was wait, right? Be patient. Keep your day job. But keep developing your talents and let your gifts come forward and and share them and until you know for sure you know what what that's going to be so here we go what is the final message for Pisces that we can give answering the call the time is now so yeah so answer the calls that have been coming to you keep moving forward because the time is now don't stop okay so I hope you enjoyed your reading Pisces hope to see you again and really really subscribe share like comment if you haven't yet and see you next time bye bye